Obsidian versus Notion versus Rome, which is the better note taking app. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between these three platforms for note taking and deciding which one is the better application for your needs. Now, all three of these are pretty decent platforms for you to start taking notes, but Obsidian is a platform that you can only use if you have downloaded it, while Notion is more versatile, is that you're going to be able to use the Notion application on your web browser, on your phone, and it's going to be a bit more accessible even when you're on the go, while Obsidian is something you're going to have to download on each of your devices and make sure that you have it on your device when you're taking notes. Now, Rome is pretty similar because you're going to have to download Rome Research com or just roam the note-taking application to actually work on it now although you can use the roam search on your web browser on your phone it's a lot more convenient if you actually have it on the windows desktop application so that's a general overview if you're looking for a application for your note-taking needs which is available online you're definitely gonna have to opt for notion because it's available online and it's going to be far less difficult for you to access your application whenever you're trying to take notes but if you're looking for a long-term work and you have a separate workstation you always work there you can easily opt for roam or you can opt for obsidian now what is the basic difference between all of these and what are some of the things that all of these are going to provide for the different price points so first off obsidian and notion are available for free they do have free versions that you can use for your personal needs well if you're trying to go for roamresearch.com then you're not going to be able to use it for free other than the fact that if you are a person that is under 22 if you are a scholarship researcher or if you are experiencing some kind of financial distress you can apply for a scholarship over here and then start using their tool for free but you have to wait for approvals to get that done now now, what are the different price plans that they are offering and what are the key features of all three of these? So starting off with Obsidian, Obsidian has the personal version, which is available for free. There is no account or sign up required. You can access plugins and API and you also have community support on the free version of Obsidian. Now on the free version of Notion, you get unlimited pages and blocks. You can share it with up to five guests. So accessibility is really optimized on the Notion platform and then you can sync across with different devices and you also have the API beta to build custom integrations for your team. In general, Obsidian and Notion have pretty decent free versions, but I definitely would prefer the Notion one because you're able to share with up to five guests and people can view all of the notes and work that you're doing directly or remotely from their own locations. And on Obsidian, you're going to have to separately download all of your data and then send it via email or some other platform. Now, Rome does not have a free version. It only has a pro version where it starts at $15 per month and you can get it for $13.75 if you choose to pay yearly and although Rome is more organized they have a lot more features but the Rome platform is a lot more dry than the Obsidian or Notion platform because although it is more professional and it has a bit more of the tools that you might need for overall research not only note taking but as a note taking app it can seem that it is a bit lacking but you can start your free trial just by adding your email add a password that you want and then you can just confirm your password over here and sign up on the Rome platform so you're just gonna sign up and you can continue with Google as well if you want now after that you're going to be logged into your account and then you're going to download your desktop application and for obsidian you're also going to have to just click on the get obsidian for windows however if you want to start working on notion all you need to do is log into your account and you're going to be greeted with this dashboard so you can see that the sign up process for notion is going to be a lot more simple because you're signing up and then you're going to be directly forwarded onto your actual account platform now, once you access your Notion.so platform, you're going to find that it has a personal plane. You can create a work account, you can add another account, and then you can also add the Windows desktop application if you choose to do so. After that, you have your quick find where you can find different notes that you're looking for. You have a all updates section, then you have a settings and members, so you can invite different members or groups to your note taking application or your workspace and give them different access or clarity to view different products or uh, view different notes. And this is going to help you into having a good team organizational structure because you can just click on add member over here and then you can just upgrade your free trial 
and then you can just add this invite link and send it to anyone that you might want or you can add members custom by adding their different emails or any kind of name that you have for them on your email setup you can add that over here and start adding them to the notion platform where you are working now after that you have different workspaces on the notion platform you can add a page and then you can name this and let's name this food so this is the food workspace but if i want to create a separate project i can just click on the plus icon over here and then i can create a crafts workspace over here and within the workspace you're going to be able to see first off you can take any notes that you want after your notes you can just type a slash and then you're going to see different commands so you can see once you type your slash you have text commands page commands to-do list headings toggle list number list dividers codes link to page call out and then you also have an inline so you can mention a person mention a page set a date or reminder add emojis incline requests table inclines board inclines gallery incline so you're going to have a lot of the features that you're going to have a lot of features where you can even do your project management on a platform like notion however if we open up obsidian so for obsidian Obsidian, I'm just going to open it up over here. I have Obsidian downloaded, so I'm just going to open this up and show you guys how Obsidian is a lot more difficult to use, in my opinion, because although the interface is pretty decent, I'm not saying it's entirely difficult to use, but it is slightly different than the Notion platform. So you can see over here, you have a quick switcher where you can switch between different planes, and then you can create a new note over here rename it to whatever you want then you can start adding your text onto your notes and if you want certain commands you can view them on the markdown importer you can turn on any specific commands that you might want and start using them on your notes now obsidian is pretty decent it has the basic setup it's pretty clean but you're not going to be able to find that kind of customization that you might want on the overall notion platform and after that you even have this open command palette so you can have different notes present over here and you can can filter them by different tags attachments files or groups displays or forces or anything you might want to filter out and you're going to have a graph view of all of your notes and you can drag them around you can add a like central note and then drag other notes out of it so that would be like the key feature of all of your data and then all of your extended data is going to be present like that so in general obsidian is pretty good as well now moving on to our third platform which is rome research you're just going to click on your download over here and set it up and rome is probably the heaviest one of all of these platforms is going to be the most difficult to set up although it has a excess of features those features come at a price and you're going to have to sign up with a credit card you're not going to be able to use this for free so you're going to be charged after the trial period ends and after the trial period ends you can choose to either sign up for the yearly or the monthly version now if you just take a look at the room research setup it's going to take a couple of minutes to set up but now once you have downloaded the room app application you're just going to enter your email and your password over here and you can log into your roam account like so so you are just going to sign in like so and once you have signed into your account you're just going to choose your free trial and you're going to continue like so and then you're going to have your checkout form where you can now enter your payment details and start signing up for roam so in general roam is pretty decent it is a bit more crafty and a bit more difficult to set up but it is a, something that is going to be a stronger tool in general but in my opinion if you're just looking for a simple note-taking app i find that notion is the best with its basic features and easy usability obsidian is a okay platform and i wouldn't recommend obsidian for any person unless you just really don't like the notion platform you can go for obsidian if you're looking to do not only your note-taking but your management on a single application you can definitely check out Rome. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to choose the best note-taking app for you. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.